Approximately 2,500 Canadian Forces members are currently deployed to Afghanistan in support of the UN-sanctioned, NATO-led International Security Assistance Force mission to rebuild Afghanistan. The first step in providing the people of Afghanistan with hope for a brighter future is to help them establish security and stability. Supported by local intelligence, Canadian soldiers work closely with the Afghan National Army on most operations. On July 8, 2006, after learning from Afghan authorities that Taliban insurgents had re-emerged in the Zeri district of Kandahar province, members of the 1st Battalion Princess Patricia's Canadian Light Infantry, A Company, set out on a three-day offensive assignment to drive out the enemy. Part of our mission here is a counterinsurgency campaign and uh, you know we've been required to close with and destroy the enemy on uh, numerous occasions now. And that's definitely been our uh, some of the, I guess, the highlights for us uh, during this tour is actually getting out and having a chance to do uh, what we've trained for, uh, for some of us, for a number of years. Yeah. Fighting in, uh, in the temperatures uh, sometimes as high as 40 or if not 50 degrees uh, Celsius uh, with uh, warm water to drink, with no cool water to be had and uh, with all of your gear uh, loaded down with all of the, uh, the weapons and ammunition that we carry, it definitely takes a physical toll. And uh, obviously we do our activities by day and by night, and there's really no time to rest because if you're not conducting operations, then even if you're in a patrol base, you're still providing security and you're still subject to be attacked. So it's uh, physically and mentally very demanding, uh, but uh, the soldiers have held up uh, extremely well. Uh, the equipment has held up extremely well and uh, we're you know, ready to take the fight to the enemy uh, where and uh, whenever necessary. Uh, we also focused on using the uh, LAV-3, which is a fantastic vehicle, uh, in intimate support of our uh, dismounted soldiers, and that has really been the force multiplier for us over here. Um, we've had excellent use of artillery, but uh, whenever we haven't had uh, aviation, uh, so attack helicopters or fast air to support us, uh, our LAVs are always there, and uh, they are uh, a battle winner. Past probably about uh, I'd say about 300 meters from here. Okay. And here firing sounds like uh, machine gun fire coming from there. And then you got uh, sounds like AK fire almost between that uh, right where the fire is really. We feel uh, exhilarated that we've done something that we've been training for, like for myself for my 16 years in the forces. This is uh, what I have trained to do for my whole career to close with and destroy the enemy. Uh, we've accomplished that. And for the newer guys, like I tell my guys, uh, for the older guys, it's our uh, FTX, but for them it's their battle school. And they're going to pass on knowledge that they've learned throughout their career, and it'll build a really good, solid NCO core and officer core over the next uh, five to ten years. Okay, get behind something now. we got our first 200 meters drop. When the Taliban try to get in again, we will return with large forces to deal with them again. And over time, the Afghan National Army will take on this role with their police, and they'll be able to do it without us.